All right, so this bit is pretty much done. I milled that flat now with, with relation to that one. <clears throat> Can't get a two thousandth feeler gauge in there now on the service plate, so that's pretty good. Now, the next bit I've got to do really is, well, several bits I've got to do, but I've got to make an L bracket for this to fit on on there and I want to take it over the edge of this so it's get it as low as possible <clears throat> so I've got to do that I did buy this which came um, I thought it was bright steel I thought it was like square edged but it's not my mistake so I'm gonna to have to cut some of that and clean it up on the mill and make this bracket and the other thing I've got to do I've taken this to bits because the only way I'm going to fix that to this, the original carrier on the on the old lathe bed is to screw it through underneath where the lead screw goes on this. So I'm going to drill, drill a couple of holes in there, drill and tap this. These holes ain't quite in the right place, so I should drill and tap that, so that, that can be fixed to there. <coughs> so that's my next two jobs for here. Better get on with it.
Right, now I've got a cutter in here that's sharp enough to do the job. If you've never seen doing a radius like this, Dow at um, Build Something Cool did a video probably four years ago on it, which is where I learned how to do it. Look it up, it's, uh, it's pretty clever and it makes it quite easy, as long as your cutter's sharp. go there's a bit of a burr on that <clears throat> but a bit of cleaning up with a file and on the uh, disc sander and that'll be right as rain this one I'm just gonna do on the disc sander this would be the other the, uh, the end that goes on the on the bed so I ain't too worried about that one this one I wanted reasonably good though so this is the two bits cleaned up a bit just off the mule. I'm only holding them together. I'm going to have to uh, weld them. I'm not sure whether to pin them and screw them together or just go straight for welding them. Your welding is not all that clever, is it? But they all go together nicely. Seems quite a good wreck to have right angle in there at the moment. But um, see what that's like after I put it together. Right, I'll clean them up a bit more. stick them together Well, round two with a MIG welder. I think I've got everything except the actual joint on the underneath of it. And not a much better job on the inside. The tacks on the end weren't too bad, on the ends. But I think it wouldn't be an unreasonable statement to say that my MIG welding needs a lot of work. But it stuck it together. So I'll stick it on the surface plate when it cools right down and see how square it is, see if it needs any work and then see about putting an hole in it to screw it to the um, cross slide needless to say it was a bit off after I'd welded it but uh, I put it on the mill and squared it up and now I can't get me 2000th feeler gauge under there I've only got it only goes down to two thousandths this feeder goes thousandth has gone a long time ago. Cleaned up the bottom lovely though. Can't see that weld now, can you? Alright, so now I want to drill a hole in this to put it on the um Ujima flip, what do you call it? Cross slide. 
finally after what seems like a very long time I finally get to put a couple of this a bit together um, and what that's revealed really is that it's going to be too high because I've still got these to go on I've got to get a pin in there to come through down there to tighten up there which is going to give me any rotation up here and this I'm going to cut down a little bit but this is going to have a dovetail in it which will actually take the tool carriers to be sharpened so all that's got to go on there on top yet so we're getting quite high getting quite up near the top of the uh, the wheel I could have took this a little bit lower I should have done really but you know it's you want to be able to get at it whether it'll have an handle on it or I'll use just this bolt that's on there so what I think I'm going to have to do is cut these T-slots right off of this that'll, that'll bring it down a bit I didn't really want to do that but I think I'm going to have to to get it down so I can use use the wheels that are on there but at least it's nice to have it together all works alright get the angles on it I'll put a witness mark on here when I finally when I get it all sorted out at the end where I've got it square or whatever ah, it's taking shape this old bandsaw might not be the smartest thing in the workshop and it needs a repair every now and again but you wouldn't want to be doing this by hand would you How bad's that? That saves you some elbow grease and where's the middle bit? There you go. And the middle bit that come off of that, ready made tea nuts. Win win. Wouldn't want you to do that by hand. <laughs> 